KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. A quiet evening tonight. We did have some increase of shower activity going on right now, but not what, as what we're expecting for the next few days. For the threats tomorrow, it's really all about the West End. High rain threat and even thunderstorm activity. That remains on the West End, while the ocean conditions, that threat remains for the entire state, at least until tomorrow, but has a chance of actually being prolonged. High surf warning in effect for north and west facing shores from Niihau to Moloka'i, north facing shore of the island of Maui. And this high surf advisory in, uh, is for the north and west facing shores of the island of Hawaii. Small craft advisory for the entire state, all of that until tomorrow evening. That small craft advisory, though, that's going to actually be upgraded to a gale watch starting tomorrow evening when that advisory expires. I get to that in a bit. Tomorrow, though, in terms of the, the large surf, high surf warning until 6 o'clock tomorrow night, 15 to 20 footers by tomorrow evening, 12 to 16 footers on the west facing shores. That's by tomorrow evening. So, again, by tomorrow morning, these will still be large, around 20 to 25 footers up north, 15 to 20 for the west. Calmest conditions in the same Safest, down on the south and east facing shores, only two to four. And the east facing shores will remain light because of the, uh, the, the lack of the trade winds. Right now, we definitely have these light and variable winds. Light across the board, zero clocking here in Honolulu, but more of a southerly flow for Kauai, more of a southeasterly flow for the rest of the state. And that's an indicator that we have an uh, approaching cold front from the northwest. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Some shower activity early this morning with this diminishing of this old cold front. That's going to be moving away, not posing a threat. But as we step into Tomorrow, this new cold front will build quite quickly, starting to reach the west end of Kauai and uh, Niihau by tomorrow afternoon around noonish or so. That's going to be bringing all of this uh, more instability. Heavy downpours, thunderstorm activity is expected. Now, as we get out of Sunday, moving into Monday, that cold front will drop down towards the middle of the state and kind of just situate itself there for the next couple days. So we can expect, and once we get into the next couple days, Tuesday, Wednesday, with all that amount of shower activity, flooding will then become a potential threat as well. So what we're seeing in terms of the time frame, it's going to start to approach Kauai and Niihau by tomorrow afternoon. We're looking at around 2 o'clock, according to this future radar. That will be moving down towards Oahu by by tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, and then that will start to then encroach upon the rest of the state as we get closer into the middle of the week. In terms of the wind speeds, we're going to start to pick that up. Tomorrow will be breezy conditions from the south, southwest, 25 miles per hour. But as we head into the new week, up to 30 miles per hour with chilly conditions with those northerly winds, gusts up to 50. Things start to calm down in the middle of the week. Driest conditions look to be around Thursday, Friday. Yet another cold front looks to be bringing another round of wet weather. Sam, I'll give it back to you.